Hey guys, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you a walkthrough of the PlayStation Store on the new PSP Go. This is UMD less, and it's got no physical optical drive, so the only way to really get new content onto it is either to put it on manually from your computer or to download it via Wi Fi from the PlayStation Store. So the success of this new PSP is really dependent on how good the PlayStation Store is. So I'll give you some opinions as I walk you through it, but let's go ahead and get started. So here is the PlayStation Store. We'll go ahead and launch it up. And for those of you that have a PlayStation 3, this is going to look very familiar to you. So you can walk through and it's broken down into a few categories. Right now we're in games. There's a video section as well, which I'll show you a little bit later. It's sectioned by new releases, downloads, PS1 classics, PSP add-ons, demos, media, themes and view all. So you can get brand new PSP games. From here on out, all games that are released for the PSP will be released in two formats, digital and with UMDs. For those of you that don't know, UMDs are those little weird sort of mini disc looking things that shipped with uh, older versions of the PSP. So there are a ton of new releases that are available, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of them. For example, here is Gran Turismo. And right now, if I want to buy Gran Turismo, it'll cost me $39.99. And the way billing works, you just set up an account and it automatically uh, charges you. It's a pretty seamless process actually. For those of you that have used the PlayStation 3's PlayStation Network, it works in much the same way. So this is 937 megabytes and I've got a relatively fast Wi-Fi connection here. And I will tell you that to download a 900 megabyte file is going to take you about 25 minutes. But once you download that, you're not in the clear, you actually have to install it as well. And to install that's going to take you about another 10 minutes. So it's from no game to a new full game. You're looking at probably anywhere from a 30 to 40 minute process. Nothing that's that long, but it's something that you need to be aware of. So you can view some pictures of the game. You can sort of learn more about it. Let's go back. And check out some of the other new releases that they have here. And there really is a relatively full catalog that launches with the PSP Go, which is quite nice. You can see that there are over 126 games that are right here. And some of them range in price from $199 all the way up to $40. And the price for the new release games are generally the same price as what they would be for the UMD version on the older PSPs. Now, if you download a game and your PSP crashes, so he is saying that there will be a way for you to get the game back on your new device. So just because you're owning a digital content, you still are owning something. Something to keep in mind. So let's go back and keep walking. So you saw all the new releases, there's a ton of games you can download. And we're going to go back to downloaded games. And that's going to show you sort of what you've, uh, what you've downloaded. And here we've got uh, downloadable games. And this is really a list of all the games that you can download. New releases, PSP add-ons, and a ton of other content. It's broken up really nicely and pretty easy to navigate. We got PS1 Classics. So these are games that were playable on, obviously, the PS1. And there's a ton of good PS1 games here. You know, I didn't have a PS1. Definitely a lot of these games that I was a fan of. So here's Blood Omen. Uh, here's Castlevania. And these games generally run about 6 bucks. You can see these here are $5.99. And I do like how they tell you the size of it, so you can anticipate how long your download time is going to be. So this one here is 335 megabytes. I can say that it's probably going to take me about 12 minutes to download. Something nice to keep in mind. And all the downloads go to the 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Although after the OS is on top of that, you're only going to get about 14 gigs. You can also take advantage of the expandable memory port on the side and put in really as much memory as you'd like. But for now, 16 gigs seems to be quite enough. There are also PSP add-ons, and these are sort of, if you use an Xbox, you know what the uh, these avatar add-ons are. These are just sort of additions to, uh, to the game, sort of an extra level or two would give maybe your character a green hat. There's nothing really that big here, but if you're into add-ons, they are here. You've also got demos, which is a really cool feature for a mobile device. So I can actually go through and download demos of new games that I want to try. And that's a feature that I really like on the Xbox and the PS3. Take a look there. You can see demos from some of the new games. So if I want to, say, maybe play NBA 10, I can go ahead and get the demo of that game as well. There's a rock band. I can go ahead and download the demo of that. 
there really are a lot of demos and a lot of the new release games have demos for the PSP. So you can give them a whirl before you want to buy them. And I think that's going to be a huge success for the PSP. Imagine sort of sitting in bed, downloading the demo, you realize you like the game, and you can actually buy it right on your device. You didn't have to get up and go anywhere, which is either a great thing if you're a little bit lazy or nice if you know, convenience from a convenience standpoint. Let's go ahead and keep navigating through here. Here's media. This you can view uh, movies and uh, TV shows that you have, but we'll get to the video side later. This right here is more uh, game-related media. Themes and wallpapers, exactly what you'd expect. Themes and wallpapers. And you can view all. Now one of the really cool things I think about the PSP Go is in addition to being a fantastic game device, it also has a really solid video library. So you go to the top and go over to video, I can take a look at some of the video content that we have here. I've got movies, TV shows, top TV episodes, and rents. And you can actually rent movies right onto your device. So let's check out some of the new releases. We'll do new release movies. You can see there are quite a ton here. So here's X-Men Origins Wolverine. That one was just released on DVD and Blu-ray. So you can rent it either in the SD version, which is really the only way to, uh, to rent it on here. If you do it online, so via the PS3, you can get an HD version, but here it's only standard definition. And it's $3.99 to rent for most movies. You add to cart and you're good to go. But keep in mind, the size is a big deal. This is 1,745 megabytes. So that's going to take you quite a long time to download. Just something to keep in mind. So we'll go back. So some more movies. Not necessarily all new releases, but a ton of movies. We've got TV shows. So here's Heroes. I'm actually a big fan of Heroes. So I can download actually full seasons and watch them right on the PSP. It's also broken down by top movie downloads, top TV episodes. And you can actually buy these as well if you'd like. So you can, you can own some movies, although there's actually much more to rent, I think, than there is to own, at least right now. And as the PSP Go sort of builds an audience and Sony can gauge what people are looking for, this store is only going to grow. So this is just sort of a quick overview of what you get with the PSP Go and what the PlayStation Store looks like. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with it. It's quick, it's elegant, it's easy to navigate, and things download, considering you're getting a full game over the air. Sort of fast. Um, the install time was a bit of a surprise. I would expect them to automatically be installed when they were downloaded, but that's not the case. If you are debating between the PSP Go or the PSP 3000, the difference is going to come to whether or not you want to own the actual disc or not. For me, I like having the smaller form factor, and I like to be able to, be able to download things just remotely right to the device. So it's really going to come down to a matter of personal preference. And certainly both of these have a different look and feel. This with the slide-out mechanism down below, and the PSP 3000 has the more traditional PSP design. So guys, hope you enjoyed. There's going to be a ton more PSP Go content, so be sure to stay tuned to the channel for that. For exclusive content, check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john4lakers. And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. Links to all this stuff will be in the sidebar. Feel free to leave text comments or video response if you have something else you'd like to see that I didn't show you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.